Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the top 10 Ubuntu Linux commands that every beginner should know. Whether you're new to Linux or just need a refresher, these commands will help you get started with Ubuntu. Before we get started, make sure you have Ubuntu Server 22 installed on your system. If you don't have it installed, you can download it from the Ubuntu website. I made a video on how to install Ubuntu Server and I'm going to put the link in the video description. The first command we are going to look at is cd. This command is used to change directories in Ubuntu. For example, if you want to navigate to your downloads folder, you would type cd downloads, press enter, and you're inside of the downloads directory. The next command we are going to look at is ls. This command is used to list the contents of a directory. So if I type ls and press enter, it shows nothing because I don't have anything in downloads folder. But if I go back by typing cd dot dot and type ls, and press enter, it lists all the folders within my home directory. And from here, if I type ls directory one and press enter, you can see it lists the files which are in directory one folder. And that directory has only one file. The pwd command is used to print the current working directory. For example, if you want to know which directory you're currently in, you would simply type pwd and press enter. And it says I'm in my home directory, which is slash home slash my username, which is Kiran. All right. The mkdir command, which stands for make directory, is used to create a new directory. For example, if you want to create a new directory called test, you would type mkdir space test and press enter. And now if you type ls and press enter, you can see the test folder is created. The touch command is used to create a new file. For example, if you want to create a new file called test.txt, you would type touch space test.txt and press enter. And if I do a ls again, I can see the new text file which I've created. The cp command is used to copy files and directories. For example, if you want to copy a file called test.txt to a directory called directory2, you would type cp test.txt directory2 and press enter. Now if I do a ls against directory2 folder, I should see the test.txt file copied over into this folder. All right, the mv command is used to move files and directories. For example, if you want to move a file called test.txt to a folder called directory1, you would type mv test.txt, which is the file name, and the folder name, which is directory1, press enter. Now, if I do a ls against directory one, I can see the test.txt is copied over to directory one. Now, if I do a ls against my home folder, I don't see the file test.txt in my home folder. All right, let me go into directory one. The rm command is used to remove files and directories. For example, if you want to remove a file called file1.txt from the folder directory one, and I'm already in this directory, directory one, I would type rm file1.txt, press enter. And if I do a ls, I don't see the file1.txt, which has been removed now. The sudo command is used to run commands with root privileges. For example, if you want to install a new package called package one, you would type sudo apt hyphen get install package one. And by the way, apt hyphen get command is used to install, remove, and update packages. For example, if you want to install a new package called package1, you would type sudo apt-get install package1. And there you have it, the top 10 Ubuntu Linux commands that every beginner should know. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.